There she is. Hey, the girl. Hey, the girls. Go make a yellow snow cone. Go make a yellow snow cone. Yeah, we got a little bit of little bit of snow out here, people. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. But um, yeah, we just uh, chained up. Got her all chained. Somewhere over there in the abyss is the uh, the Cabbage Hill. Cabbage Hill, then up over Blue Mountains. So yeah, it's gonna be some fun stuff. And I can sit here until April, or I can put my big boy pants on, chain up, and get the hell on. So that's what we're gonna do. And uh, I did not get one chain replaced, which is broken. So I had to do a little, um, a little side road fix, which will get me through. It's only uh, chains required until the grind. I'm in Pendleton, Oregon. That's the hotel casino. They took a little bit of my money last night. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much for that. But, uh, of course, of course you kind of stick. You know this? <coughs> you kind of stick. It's cold out here. It hurts my lungs. Cold. But Haley Dog, she loves playing in that snow. But uh, playtime's over. It's time, to, it's time to get moving. So snow let up a little bit it was coming down a little heavier uh, not too long ago but we're gonna get rolling we're gonna get rolling people and get to it I'll chop a little of this video up and uh, maybe we'll see how the ride goes and we'll go from there yeah you ready girlies <laughs> little, little crackhead <laughs> Hey, what's going on YouTube? How's everybody doing today? Hope you're enjoying this chilly, chilly, snowy start of a weekend. It sucks. But, um, yeah, we're here in Pendleton, Oregon. And uh, there's a bit of snow outside. Um, I'm just, I'm just actually, uh, I don't even know what you can see because I don't have my, anyway. Yeah, there's a little bit of snow out there, All right? Uh, this is like over overflow parking because I parked at this casino here in Pendleton. Um, well, the truck the truck parking area that they've got at the casino is full up. The truck stop is like quadruple capacity, and the casino is cool enough to let let us start parking on the street here. They had security kind of filing us in to park. So anyway. Um, I shut down last night. I didn't have, it was kind of one of those things where I had, um, what was it, a little over an hour, uh, shy of two hours or something like that, that I could have ran, but chains required up cabbage. Um, by the time I got chained and got up, I mean, I would have made it a few more miles. So I just decided to shut it down here last night and um, was hoping that it would, uh, not be doing this this morning but it is it's actually snowing really light right now but it was coming down pretty good probably already got another I'd say at least two to three inches more and there was about eight eight or nine inches already on the ground so got a fair amount of snow out here and you know I I can sit here until April until it melts or I can just you know put the big boy pants on and get moving so that's what we did we got chained up um, and I, you know I'm gonna share a little something with you all right um, it's the first time I've had to throw iron myself on my own truck so it was fun no it really wasn't it sucks turns out uh, chaining sucks when it's cold and there's a ton of snow all around you and it's cold and shit gets wet and I thought I was ready for winter no no I still need to make a few uh, investments in a few other things um, but I'll talk about that maybe in a different video but um, got it chained up um, bungees suck because I had them in my storage compartment um, so they're cold they don't want to stretch so they'll uh, 
they like to break and shit. Uh, it, it's not fun, but um, got it done, got it done, and uh, now, now we're about to start rolling. So, um, we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna chop a little video. I'll just kind of record as I go, and then I'm gonna chop this thing up and try to throw it all together in a in a somewhat short video. Throw it out there. Hope you guys enjoy. Haley Dog is all tuckered out because it's so deep. Like it's like almost some of these areas out there, it's up to her chest and then chin. She's just sitting out there, standing out there, and it's up there. So I let her play around a bunch in the snow. She's down here laying down by the heater. Um, she's wore out. Like I'll admit it, chaining is not fun. And after you're out there. Um, cause it's always taking, it's always going to take you, you know, I ain't no NASCAR chainer, you know, I don't whip them out in 15 minutes and ready to go. Um, like I feel like I should go back into the casino, give me some hot cocoa and a buffet and, uh, maybe watch a movie. They got a, a theater, a cineplex in there, but we can't dilly dally. We're going to get going. So you guys enjoy this and uh, we'll see how this goes. Alrighty. Alrighty. I see here, bottle of water, check. Red Bull, check. Cookie from the bakery, check. Um, good to go. Good to go. I have pre-tripped, checked my chains, rolled back and forth, readjusted, adjusted, and readjusted a few more times. So we're ready. Haley, are you ready to go? Are you ready? Are you ready? What do you say? Where are you going? She wants to climb on me now. You ready to go? Okay. Haley wants to get out and play, so we're just going to drive. Because we'll be here all day if I leave it up to her. So. Let's just see how we do here, people. I do have a confession to make. Um, I have not. Man, these things are. I feel like I'm driving a tank. Are they really supposed to be this uh, flop? Not floppity, but um, I mean, it's like. Seems like they're awfully. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, they're not loose, but I will stop one more time and check them. I pulled back. I pulled up like 10 feet back, you know, back and forth, let them kind of settle, and then I would check them and tighten them and retighten and all that fun stuff. Now it's okay. Now it's not in bed. I guess it's just where they've plowed. So it probably sounds like. I thought they said that I could, I thought they said there was a loop around down here. Un momento, what do we got here? <laughs> oh, now you want to speak up. Closed due to weather. So I guess this is the turnaround. I thought they said there was a, a loop, an actual like loop that I could turn around in, but oh well, looks like we're gonna flip her around right here. Um, what was my confession? Oh, that's right. I have a confession to make you. My confession is... Hold on, I'm just looking at everything while I can see my trailer. Looking good, looking good, nice and tight. My confession, people, is that uh, I don't have a CB radio. I know, I know. The comments will come in already. Ooh, what kind of trucker are you? You don't have a... Don't upset him, all right? That's what I'm saying. But no, I do not have a CB radio. I, I figured um, I would wait until wintertime to buy one and um, and haven't got one yet. I actually went to, uh, to pick one out and um, 
I, I just didn't. I thought I would put it off another month. And so I don't have a CB radio, but I think a CB radio in this weather is about the only time, well, not only in weather, but I think a CB radio um, would be very, very handy in uh, when you're dealing with this sort of thing. This kind of weather, you can uh, talk to the truckers and know what's going on ahead of you. Um, in a half mile, turn left on Umatilla Mission Highway, OR 331. But, um, I mean, a lot of people have said, yeah, you know, CBs today have just turned into a bunch of shit talking back and forth, and there's this and that. Like, I mean, I can hang with the best of them when it comes to that, but I save that for my for my boys, for my close friends, and, um, you know, I don't want to hear that crap on the CB, so I decided I wouldn't get one um, until until this winter, and uh, it never happened, so I think I will get one <clears throat> when I get home. I should be home hopefully in a week or so. Hopefully in about a week or so. Home for Christmas. But, um, anyway, yeah, we got another couple turns here until we get back out to the highway. Um, I am just... In 0 0.2 miles, turn left on Umatilla Mission Highway, OR 331. I'm, uh, just before the actual chaining area. So, you know, this gives me like a half a mile to drive to crawl pretty much. In 900 feet, turn left on Umatilla Mission Highway, oh, yeah, OR331. I, I, I get it, I get it. Um, anyway, um, yeah, so I'm gonna pull off one more time, check everything, uh, make sure they haven't readjusted or slid or anything, and then uh, we're gonna climb the hill. Like I said, we're just, uh, we're here at the base of Cabbage Hill, and we're, we're, heading, we're heading up, so yeah. See how it goes. All right, people, um, we made a little, a quick stop just right off the on-ramp of the highway here just to uh, quadruple check everything. Um, it, you know, it, those things from what the, the old timers are telling me, you know, they're, they're gonna move a little bit, readjust, and so you, you wanna do that just to make sure that uh, you tighten them back up after they do. So I'm glad I did. Um, I did actually even find one cam lock that I missed. Probably the one that was buried in the snow. It was on my passenger side where there's a lot of heavy snow over there and I missed that one, um, but I just found it, locked it down, um, readjusted my bungees as, cause they were cold as hell and after they were stretched where they were, that gave them even a little bit more elasticity and, um, Made a couple more adjustments and we're ready to roll. So as soon as I have an open lane, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get going. Come on, Prime, hurry up! Alrighty, people, we're rolling. Hey, look at there! It's a big hunk of chain. So, I have seen so many chunks of chains, whole chains, uh, bungees, freaking everything that. Uh, that were just littered on the highway as I came in last night to Pendleton. Tons of them. Um, and from what I am told, that's because they're just not locked down tight enough and they're not doing their check, you know, after they move a little bit uh, to make sure those things have seated properly and, and tightened up. But uh, anyway, yeah, so we're moving. We're right here at the base of Cabbage Hill. Uh, I don't even know if you can hear me because it's freaking noisy. Um, it's just noisy. I can probably turn my... Yeah, even if I turn my, my defrost down, it doesn't make any difference. It's freaking noisy. This is what we're dealing with. A little chain action. And they sound like they are nice and smoothly rolling on down the road with me. Um, we did another check, like I said, and uh, everything is tightened up and good to go. Now, the last thing, I actually saw two... Little, Left curve ahead. I saw two pickup trucks.
and they got signs on the back and it says chain install. These guys will, uh, when they when the bad weather hits, they'll come out here and they'll uh, they'll put your chains on for a fee. And I don't know what that fee is. I think I heard 50 or 60 bucks or something like that. It might be less. I don't know. But uh, anyway, I, I guess it ain't that. It's not bad enough for me to be shelling out that kind of money for somebody to put chains on. Besides, I you know. I guess if I get to the point where I feel like I'm, uh, you know, I got it down pat, and I just don't want to get out and get soaking wet and cold, then maybe I'll, I'll, I'll uh, take advantage of that. But no time soon. Look at that big old hawk. The big old hawk trying to scare off those crows. Looks like the crows are picking apart some roadkill or something. That hawk wanted some food. But, um, yeah, we're just, we're just kind of bouncing down the road here at 23 miles an hour. Um, I might even back it down. I'll probably go up the hill about 20. Um, I don't, you know, I don't know. I am, I don't, I never have, never will proclaim to, uh, know anything close to everything, <laughs> but um, I, I was told when I when I started, and I've been driving now for about uh, winding road ahead, just a little over nine months. So I started at the tail end of last winter. That's when I started, and uh, when I when I was going through the chain, and here's another hunk of chain in the road. But uh, anyway, when I uh, when I started, they told us at my company that um, you can, they're like, I guess, rated for 25 miles an hour, but you don't want to go that speed for a distance continuously. You actually want to do about 20, so you don't end up breaking up or throwing a chain or something like that. So um, I was talking to another guy that has been, he's been driving for a long, long time gave me some tips on chaining and, and this and that and, uh, and he said that he'll even run 30 miles an hour uh, but about 25 to 30 is what he said um, so I don't know I guess until my company says otherwise I'm gonna keep it uh, a little bit lower than that and, uh, and besides we only have so I think it's like uh, about 38 miles we have to go to the Grand the Grande whatever it's called um, which from Pendleton is just shy of 40 miles, if I recall. So, uh, I'm just, you know, I'm just going to take my time. Take my time, be nice and safe. And uh, once I get out of this nasty stuff, then uh, I go get soaking wet and cold again. Put my chains up. And uh, then good. Everything clears up after uh, after Legrand or whatever. Uh and then it's smooth sailing. I mean, I think it's like wet roads or something, but no big deal. So, get this knocked out, keep doing it. We're just going up the hill, no problem at all. Um, I mean, there's other trucks going, <laughs> they're going past me, but I don't, I don't care, you know. I ain't in a huge hurry. Um, so I'm just gonna take my time to get there safely. And uh, until I get through this stuff, and then I'll drop the drop the chains and uh, and proceed accordingly. So anyway, we'll see how this goes. We're uh, we're barely up Cabbage Hill. I think we have another few miles to go here. I know there's a actually maybe not a few miles, but not too far to go. There's a cool if you go up this way. Anybody that takes this route. There's a view, I think it's a viewpoint, or it's not a rest area because they don't have facilities, but uh, so it's like a viewpoint or scenic view or whatever they call it, um, right around this bend, or maybe it's a couple more corners. But if you haven't stopped there in the summertime or on a clear day, uh, do that. Do that. That's that's worth a few minutes of just taking a break. If you got a dog, let your dog out and play around there. Um, Great views, beautiful stuff, good, good countryside, good scenery. Um, so it's worth it. So there you go. There you go. Take it for what it's worth. I'm sorry if my wipers suck. Um, I just put new blades on there. I had my, oh, uh, so follow up on my last video, I had my, um, my spray bar, my spray uh, wind, windshield sprayer, whatever you want to call it had to be readjusted. It turns out whatever, whoever did
did whatever, and this was a brand new truck when I got it, and I never touched them, but um, I was I had a problem with like the top, almost the top half of my uh, wiper range would just it wouldn't get any fluid, so it would just smear over and be a big mess. And um, so anyway, I had it looked at, and, and it turned out the damn thing wasn't even in place where there was supposed to be a couple of dimples for it to lock into, and it, it hadn't even happened. So. Anyway, that's fixed, and um, looks like I got a little ice building up. I don't know if you can see that or not, but uh, I've got one one little smear area, so I'll probably have to stop here once it gets a little worse and kind of knock my blades off. Although I do have winding road ahead, I do have wiper fluid that's supposed to be good down to like uh, 34 below zero, so that should help melt it. I don't know. We'll find out. Anyway, onward and upward, and it's only supposed to get nastier before it gets better, so woohoo! Oh, damn, people! We're almost there. We're almost there. I see blue skies. We're almost through the clouds. Yeah, yeah. What is that, Haley girl? Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 that's a good girl. So we are uh, pretty much to the top of Cabbage Hill. Um, I see a little bit of blue sky through there. Um, but when I did check the, the road conditions and everything, uh, further in, I think around, uh, well, in as, it, as we're getting into the, um, the brand, uh, over Blue Mountains, I think it is, there's, um, it's supposed to be, uh, heavy and steady is what they say the snow conditions are so there was already they said there was already 16 inches on the ground uh, roads are snow packed but um, anyway we're just crawling along 21 miles an hour um, of course all the other less patient drivers shall I say kind of blew by us all um, and they're probably the ones that are contributing to all these chunks of chains that I'm finding all over the road. Throwing chains, breaking chains, bungees, everything else. They're just, I mean, that, that crap's just littered everywhere. Oh, holy moly. Did they close it down? I don't know if you can see eastbound to the left, far left, or I'm sorry, westbound, down the hill. I see cars and trucks, both lanes stopped dead. I wonder if they closed it down. I mean, they're just sitting, they're not even wiggling. Interesting, well, at least I'm not heading west, I'm heading east, so, uh, yeah. At least I'm not sitting in that, yeah, look at this, I'll let this run until we get up a little closer here. Now that it's down uh, a little bit further up there, their lane's down level with ours, and it's uh, it's a parking lot. It's a parking lot. Goodbye. Yo, 
along with your bad self there right away. Parking lot. Can you say parking lot? Yeah. I wonder how long they've been sitting there because I thought, actually, no, you can't even see. The, the east and westbound lanes split up around the hill, so you can't even see them coming down. So I don't know how, where it was actually stopped or whatever. Maybe there was a wreck. Who knows? I thought you had to have both drive axles chained. Am I wrong, people? Is that that's what this one driver told me when I was parked this morning he said Oregon law was like that was the case but I'm seeing quite a few tractors that only have one one drive axle oh well maybe that's I know but uh, I guess tractors are set up different sometimes both are actual drives that get you power and some only one do but I'm seeing quite a few uh, tractors that only have one set of drives chained up. I don't know. Any old timers out there know? Any, well, anybody that's got more experience than I do, do you know the answer to that? Do you have to have both set of drives chained or only one drive axle chained? I got both. I got, I got both. And I kind of lucked out because I had a set, I've got super singles on this, and uh, my trailer has duals, and every trailer has always had uh, its own set of chains hanging from the trailer, but I hooked up to this trailer yesterday, and uh, it did not, it didn't even have a hanger, so nobody even told the shop that it doesn't even have chains for whoever knows how long, but anyway, lucky me, I'm the one that actually had to chain up. And, um, but I did kind of luck out because um, I got, uh, I, I actually had a set of duals, or you know, dual size chains on my tractor as well, even though I got singles. So I had, I had four chains and um, they're unchaining. He's unchaining. He's unchaining. Why are they unchaining? I thought, I thought I heard it was uh, chains required all the way to La Grande. La Grande. What's up with that? What are you guys poking sheep? What is the deal? And we got UPS is pulling over, probably too unchained. He's got those spider bungees. That's what I want to get. I do not have spider bungees. I now see the uh, the value in investing in those, so I will be getting spider bungees. But um, man, like what? Are we not? I mean, this is solid. Like I can see solid ice here. I'm not a why? I, I don't know. I'm confused, people. Tell me the the the. Tell me. Um, thought process behind that. Why would you unchain now? You still got the blue mountains to go over. I mean, that's up and down hills here. So why would you want to unchain right now? Huh. I don't know. So you can drive faster and then slide off the road? Hell, I'm chained up. I'm staying chained up until I get to freaking Hawaii. I don't care. These things were a bitch to get on. I am definitely going to get use out of them. He's got no chains, so he just unchained. See, this is, this is the problem. I don't have a damn CB radio. And I need to get a CB radio. I'm too damn frugal, and I didn't want to spend the money because I was thinking I was eking by all these winter storms. Well, it's not even winter yet. You know, it's technically, winter has not even arrived. You know, per calendar. But, um, yeah, I need a damn CV so I can ask these drivers. But, I mean, if you're unchained, obviously they know better than I do. 
but I'm shit. I'm not unchaining it right now. It's it's a freaking ice skating rink right there. So I'm gonna stay chained up, uh, shit, until I see until I see wet roads, or at least no ice. I don't know. I guess that would be wet roads. Yeah, I'm, I'm just rambling. I'm just rambling. But we're uh, we're a mile away from Dead Man Pass, coming up here on the sign. Estes with his doubles is moving on up to a lane that still isn't moving. I I don't know. I'm wondering what's going on westbound down Cabbage Hill there. Anyway, people, let me hear those comments. Here's another hunk of chain there right in the middle of the lane. Let me hear those comments. Any of my ramble, if you have answers to, I want to hear it. Um, and it's probably getting too damn noisy because there's now it's pretty much just ice and this shit is rattly and noisy. So I shall return. All right, people. Um, uh, I think it's time to uh, unchain here. We are this. These roads. They're they're pretty. Now that I'm stopped, I mean, they were kind of, actually, they did get kind of, um, like, bare back there. Like, dry and bare. But, back in the shade, there's still, uh, like a nice little thin sheet of ice, really. Um, I'm, I'm on the, on the back side of the summit. I already got to the summit of Blue Mountains. Um... I mean, there's there's no other trucks. <laughs> At this point, I am literally the only truck this far east of Cabbage Hill and Blue Mountain that still has chains on. I I kid you not. I have not. Yeah, no. But there's still freaking. <laughs> I don't know. Laugh all you want. Um, do whatever. I just. It's better safe than sorry. I ain't, I ain't gonna screw around and um, think I am out of the water before I'm completely out of the water. Here's some, actually, looks like somebody else is pulling over behind me or a little ways back there. So he's probably about to unchain too. But this little slot is actually a little on the icy side. This little stretch of road. Like I said, I mean, literally a quarter mile back, it was, um, it was dry and bare, but that's because the sun was able to peek through and uh, and took care of it. But now it's actually a little on the icy side. I, you know what? I think I'm gonna drive a little bit further until I. Yeah, okay, here's here's what it is. How about I just keep driving until I see sparks <laughs> from my chains? If I can see sparks from my chains, I think I'm in the clear. No? Okay, maybe not. Maybe that's too far. But, um, no, but seriously, I mean, for real, um, it's better safe than sorry, you know? If I was in my, uh, my Durango, I love, I, you know, I'm very, very comfortable driving this. I have driven, in, I live in Colorado, you know? I deal with this every freaking year. But when you're in a big rig, for me, that has not, uh, I don't even, I've got, like I said earlier, I think nine, a little over nine months. So I haven't even gone through a full winter yet. I caught the tail end of, of winter, uh, last winter, and then I'm just starting into this winter. So, you know, I, you know, I'm still green behind the ears. I always, I will be for quite a while, but you want to be, um, so for me, as far as I'm concerned, I'm going to be safer. I'd rather be safer than sorry. Um, and so although I did think I was going to unchain and this guy behind me is unchaining 
and I have, I mean, I got freaking trucks blowing by me with no chains on. Um, I don't know. I guess what I'll do is I will just blame it on my company. How's that sound? May's policy is we chain when it's uh, slippery. <laughs> I can't remember exactly how they say it. We chain when chains are not required. We chain before chains are required. Um, and there's there's common sense to that. So, and I really can I can see um, like a good layer of ice on the road next to me here. I'll show you. I'll show you so you don't think I'm I'm uh, I'm being a big weenie. But uh, let's let's take a gander here. I mean that's that's ice. I mean, the cars, I mean they're just blowing by me. But that is ice. Pretty much all the way across. So I'm gonna whoops, hit the wrong button here. You know what? Screw it. I'm I'm gonna stay uh, chained up for a little bit longer. Um, and it won't be too far anyway. It will not be more than probably another um, I mean, with how quick it's cleared up, I would say maybe another five or ten miles. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna keep running. I'm gonna let all the uh, other super truckers laugh at me and chuckle as they go blowing my doors off. But um, you know, I'm gonna be safe. I don't care. I got I got a perfect record, and I want to keep it that way. So onward we go. We'll see where we stop. All right, people. I have made a decision. <laughs> That's about as bare as it's going to get. It just happened recently. Um, I'm at a chain area. Nice safe spot. So I'm going to drop these chains. There's a few other trucks actually. There's one that just pulled up behind me that's unchaining. Two more pulled off already. So turns out I was not the only guy. Uh, in this stretch of highway that still had his chains on so it doesn't make me feel as silly but then again I would not care because like I said it's better safe than sorry um, so I'm gonna get out there and uh, take some chains off oh hey the girls down there hanging out oh booms say what say who who, who <laughs> oh ho, ho, doggies <laughs> alright well I'm gonna get this done get rolling people I still have some cookie left. Yes, I do. <laughs> and you're not getting it, Haley. Hey, no, that's not your cookie. That's not your cookie. All right, you guys. Um, anyway, that's close to the end of this video. We'll see here. But uh, I am unchaining and rolling on. I watched somebody else because, you know, it's kind of a bit of a hill here. And this is all compact snow and ice. And so before I took my chains off, I made sure after he was unchained, he didn't have any problem getting going, and he just and he just crawled right out of there, no problem. So um, I am uh, confident that I can do the same thing. So there you have it. I'm gonna get to work.